Carlos was driving his Tesla Model 3 home from work on what had been a normal day in Austin, Texas. As he drove down the I-35 on-ramp, he thought nothing of it when he merged in front of a white Mazda. Evidently, the Mazda driver was highly offended by Carlos's merge, kicking off some of the most reckless road rage we've ever seen on this channel. The temper tantrum you're about to see would end up causing a massive highway crash involving seven vehicles, but you'll be shocked to find out what the police did after the dust had finally settled. As Carlos approached the end of the on-ramp, the white Mazda was closely tailgating his Tesla before the driver crossed a solid line and started driving on the shoulder. After spraying rocks and dirt everywhere, the Mazda driver merged onto the interstate before accelerating in an attempt to get ahead of Carlos before he had a chance to legally enter the highway. The Mazda driver's first attack was an attempt to push Carlos's Tesla out of his lane, invading so far that Carlos had to swerve to avoid being sideswiped. Up to this point, Carlos had no idea that he'd been engaged in vehicular combat, but this move from the Mazda driver was his first indicator that something was very wrong. Carlos kept his cool and continued merging to the left while the Mazda driver took to the rightmost lane in a bid to pass Carlos. Sadly for him, that lane was actually an exit lane filled with slower moving traffic and the Mazda ended up getting stuck behind Carlos again. Once he saw his opportunity, the Mazda driver floored the gas pedal and cut across the entire highway to get in front of Carlos in the passing lane. The Mazda driver then brake checked Carlos to the point that Carlos had to come to a complete stop, all during rush hour in the passing lane of an interstate highway. I bet you can guess what happened next. Traffic behind Carlos wasn't able to stop and a chain reaction of mayhem began to unfold behind him. A total of six vehicles behind Carlos collided with each other before his Tesla was rear-ended by a Toyota. Predictably, the Mazda driver chose not to stick around. Thinking quickly, Carlos punched the juice pedal to pursue the Mazda. But as the other driver dove across traffic to reach an exit, Carlos remembered his Tesla cam would have all the evidence he needed and he pulled over. Police arrived quickly and closed I-35 down for over an hour. When Carlos showed them his Tesla cam footage, which he assumed would be the critical evidence they needed to hold the Mazda driver responsible, they told him they probably wouldn't go after the other driver. Carlos asked, how is it possible for a person to get off untouched after causing such mayhem? Their response was that since the Mazda hadn't been involved in the actual collision, they likely wouldn't pursue the driver at all. If you thought that story was crazy, just keep watching. We've lined up even more insane stories from Tesla owners. Roll them. Kevin was driving home in his Model S with the full self-driving beta engaged when a driver in front of him made an illegal U-turn. Out of nowhere, an unmarked police car crossed the yellow line to pursue the car that had made the illegal U-turn. Even with FSD engaged, Kevin wasn't able to brake hard enough to prevent a collision. As Kevin and the police officer were looking at each other, the driver in question slowed down as if they were going to stop, but when they saw their chance to get away, they took off. Both Kevin and the officer pulled over. When the officer's supervisor arrived to make a report, he stated that neither party was at fault for the collision. What's your ruling? Do you agree with the supervisor or do you think the officer or Kevin were responsible? Put your opinion in the comments. Kevin made a claim with Tesla Insurance and is now waiting for an estimate from the collision center. This submitter was headed down a highway with his wife and their friend in the back when he realized he was about to miss his exit. Due to the weather conditions, he decided not to go for the exit. Rather than putting them all in a dangerous situation, he continued with the intent to take the next exit instead. His navigation immediately calculated a new route, and when he saw the next exit would be on the left, he let some traffic pass him so he could change lanes. After checking his blind spot multiple times, he began merging left to reach the upcoming exit. All of a sudden, he noticed a BMW quickly approaching. Even though he tried to speed up, he couldn't avoid a collision. In the Netherlands, the daytime speed limit is about 60 miles per hour, and that's how fast our submitter was going when he started changing lanes. He thinks the BMW was going over 105 miles per hour. His Tesla's collision data shows our submitter accelerated to about 74 miles per hour before the impact. Tesla support was automatically contacted, and the police responded in under five minutes with an ambulance arriving shortly after to assist the occupants of the other vehicle. None of the Tesla's occupants were hurt, but our submitter 
transmitter told us the driver and passenger of the BMW had both been using fake seatbelt clips to dismiss the seatbelt warnings, which didn't protect them at all, of course. The police called our submitter two weeks later to request his Tesla cam footage, which he provided. They also informed him that they suspected a third car had been involved in the incident. They told him a Mini Cooper had been racing the BMW, and when he checked his Tesla cam footage, he confirmed their suspicions. Our submitter told us if he'd been driving any other car, things probably would have been way worse for them. He's glad the Teslas are very safe, and this incident proves it. The repair bill came to over 32,000 US dollars, totaling the car. With the insurance settlement, he immediately ordered a new one to replace it. Kwame was driving his kids to school one morning in New York City when he had stopped at a red light. When it turned green, he began gently accelerating into the intersection. Another driver ran his red light and barreled right through the intersection, and Kwame had no way to avoid a collision. Both drivers stopped, and Kwame told us the other driver was very apologetic, and they actually had a little bonding moment. The other driver was another father who had just dropped his children off at school like Kwame was about to do. Due to the high traffic location of the collision, police responded in under two minutes. Thankfully, nobody was seriously hurt, and medical response wasn't necessary. Kwame filed a claim with the other driver's insurance provider, and they paid for all of the repairs and provided him with a rental car while Kwame's Tesla was getting fixed. Repairs took about two and a half months, and the final repair bill came to 25,000 US dollars. I've gotta say, those wheels look great. They might be the best looking wheels we've ever seen on a Model Y. Anand was driving his Model 3 in, wait a second, is he about to take that huge jump? Sadly, no, he didn't. <sighs> Why doesn't anybody go for the jumps? Anyway, Anand was taking his two kids to a soccer game. Okay, that... <laughs> That's why he didn't take the jump. Well, that makes sense. As Anand made his way through an intersection, he was suddenly T-boned by his neighbor. The intersection was uncontrolled, meaning it had no stop signs, but since the other driver was turning, he accepted fault since he should have checked both directions before entering the intersection. He was very apologetic as he checked on Anand and his children. Thankfully, everyone was okay. They called the police to make a report, but since the collision had occurred on what is technically a private road, the police declined to respond to the scene. They had to drive to the police station to make a report. Repairs to Anand's Tesla cost 15,000 US dollars and took almost three months to complete. Eddie and his little brother were on a road trip from South Texas to Florida to watch a Falcon Heavy launch when the trip was suddenly cut short. While he was driving down a highway in Houston, traffic came to an immediate stop and Eddie and the driver ahead of him both swerved onto the shoulder to avoid rear-ending other traffic. The driver behind them wasn't paying as much attention and slammed into the back of Eddie's Tesla. The Jeep driver ended up pulling over behind Eddie and the two drivers exchanged information. There wasn't much damage to the Jeep, but sadly, we can't say the same about Eddie's Tesla. Eddie was unable to open or close the trunk, autopilot was disabled, and the car gave him a bunch of error messages. Even so, he was surprised that the car was still drivable. Eddie filed an insurance claim with the Jeep driver's insurance provider after she immediately admitted fault. The car is still in the body shop getting repaired, and the repair bill is currently at 15,000 US dollars. Since their road trip to the Kennedy Space Center was cut short, they ended up going to the Johnson Space Center instead in an attempt to salvage their road trip. Elias was driving his Model X to work in Inverness, Illinois, and was stopped at a red light when a BMW X5 came careening into him. The BMW driver made a right turn too fast for the icy conditions and briefly lost control of the vehicle before colliding with the Model X, causing 16,000 US dollars in damage to the Tesla. Elias called the police, and they clearly stated in their report that the other driver was at fault. The other driver's insurance provider paid for the repairs that took three weeks to complete. Elias thanked our channels for giving him moral support during this ordeal, and for the hours of entertainment we've provided him over the years. Speaking of which, this is episode 242 of Wham Bam Tesla Cam, and with an average length of just over 10 minutes, that's a total of around 2,420 minutes or 40 hours of Tesla Cam stories. Comment below if you've watched every single one.
This submitter is a Tesla employee who is on his way home from work in his brand new Tesla Model 3, yes, the refreshed Highland version, when a truck cut the corner and sideswiped it. At first, he didn't know if an impact had occurred, as he told us the soundproofing in the new Model 3 is exceptional. But when he noticed his mirror was folded, he pulled over. When he inspected his car for damage, he confirmed the impact and flagged down the other driver to pull over, which they did. The driver claimed he hadn't left his lane, but our submitter told us his demeanor changed when he found out there was video evidence of the collision. He continued denying fault, but agreed to give our submitter his information. It was our submitter's third Tesla, but his partner's first. He wanted to send a shout out to his partner to congratulate him on his first car purchase, especially since he hadn't expected to experience a wham bam moment so soon after delivery. Little did he know, this was just the beginning. Is the car cursed? Roll the next clip. With his car parked outside the Tesla delivery hub in Sydney, he was mere minutes from his shift ending with his backpack on his shoulder and ready to head for the door when he got a sentry mode alert that his Tesla's alarm had been triggered. He sprinted like an Olympian to reach his car and find out what was happening. When he found a distressed man in a truck, his heart sank as he realized it wasn't a false alarm. Here comes our beloved submitter. Despite the enormous amount of available parking space in front of the Tesla, the pickup driver had backed into his Model 3 long range just two weeks after the incident we showed you in the last clip. The damage from the first collision hadn't even been repaired yet. He told us he was smiling in disbelief as he realized he'd now been in two collisions in just over two weeks after taking delivery. Rumor has it that our submitter is now known as the unluckiest Tesla owner in Australia. The guy who crashed into him this time was much nicer than the last one and was extremely apologetic and cooperative. They exchanged information without involving the police. A few days after the incident, he returned to the Tesla authorized body shop to update them on the new damage. The repair technician couldn't believe it when our submitter told him he'd been in a second collision. He wanted to shout out the Chatswood Prestige Tesla approved collision center for their five star service. He's very satisfied with their service, but he hopes he never has to visit them again, which we totally understand. Chris was enjoying an anniversary lunch at his favorite Korean restaurant in Oakland, California, when a black Lexus rolled up next to his parked Model 3. A guy jumped out of the Lexus and smashed the quarter glass before folding down the back seat to look inside the trunk. The trunk was empty, so the aspiring thief moved on. His next target was the Land Rover parked in front of Chris. He walked up to it and looked through the windows. The driver of the Land Rover had left bags in the back, so they weren't as lucky. Keep in mind, this happened in broad daylight with a big group of people standing right next to the car. What is going on in California? Is this normal? When Chris returned, he discovered the Land Rover owner cleaning up shattered glass, and he started to worry that his car had also been hit. Sure enough, this ended up being the most expensive anniversary meal he's ever eaten. Before you type it in the comments, don't worry, Chris told us he ordered a drop lock from Test Bros and he wanted to thank us for the tip. He also wanted to shout out his son, Dylan. Mustafa wants to know your opinion about who's in the wrong in this video he sent us. He's a 17-year-old who was taking his parents' car on a trip to a nearby grocery store. In the distance, he noticed a beige car signaling to merge right, but at the time, he didn't really think much of it since the signal had been on for a long time. When the traffic light turned yellow, he gunned the motor to get through, but he thinks the light turned red before he made it. Still, he had so much momentum, he figured he wouldn't be able to stop in time, so he just continued. When the beige car began to turn into Mustafa's lane, he admits he honked and he thinks that offended the other driver. Mustafa then tried to go around the car, but the driver pushed Mustafa out of his lane and into oncoming traffic, which he's thankful was still far away. Mustafa managed to return to the correct lane before he dropped a gear, which is his way of saying he accelerated hard. Here's Mustafa's question for our viewers. Is it my fault for running the red light, even though it was out of my control, or is the other driver exaggerating? Now it's time for you to decide who's right and who's wrong in the comment section. Godspeed, Mustafa. Thierry was driving home from getting fast food when BAM! A passing semi made contact with a traffic island before a tire exploded. What a wham and what a bam! 
Harley was on his way to get pizza with his family at their favorite restaurant when they suddenly heard a loud thundering sound behind them. Being a military family, they immediately recognized the sound of multiple UH-60 Blackhawks. Harley told us they see this kind of thing all the time, but this was definitely the lowest they'd had helicopters fly directly over them. Harley wanted to shout out his son Holden, who loves everything Tesla and especially loves watching Wham Bam Tesla Cam. Atreyu and his friend were taking photos at a park when they pulled up next to this guy and his baby. Atreyu's friend had parked her car next to his and the guy with the baby was to the left of her. She made sure to give him plenty of space so he could easily get his baby out of his vehicle. She smiled and told him that his baby was cute. Atreyu also smiled, but the guy just glared at them both. They didn't react and just continued with their day, but when Atreyu returned to his car less than an hour later, he found two sentry mode notifications. The man had placed handfuls of nails behind the tires of both of their cars. When Atreyu saw this, he immediately called the police to report the attempted vandalism. Officers responded about two minutes after the man had left. They told Atreyu that if he'd driven over the nails, they could have arrested the guy. But since he hadn't, by their estimation, he hadn't committed a crime yet. As they put it, this ain't minority report. Wow, those are some crazy legal gymnastics. What do you think? Since the guy had technically only placed the nails on the ground, not a crime on its own, do you think he should have been held accountable? Steve and Naomi were driving their Model 3 on the winding Great Ocean Road in Australia. It's a scenic route full of relaxed tourists, but let me tell you, not everyone was relaxed. For example, this tourist bus driver who was tailgating Steve and Naomi. The reckless bus driver illegally overtook them and a line of other traffic. Thankfully, there were no oncoming vehicles at the time. Of course, the bus driver couldn't have known that, so it was dumb luck that the lane was clear. The bus driver then tried to overtake another bus minutes later later, and they collided with another tourist bus while narrowly missing a black SUV. The impact sprayed broken glass all over the passengers of the bus that had been overtaken, starting off a lengthy court battle. A month later, the police emailed Steve and asked him to make a written statement, which will be presented in court along with his Tesla cam video. Both buses were full of passengers, but the police told Steve everyone was okay. That said, the results could have been much worse, and that's why the reckless bus driver is being prosecuted. Thanks for watching, and before you go, don't forget to go check out our new merch.